Now you read the title of today's video talking about the possible financial losses the Disney company will be facing because of the closures. But before we dive into the numbers, I want to start this video on a positive note. I am 100% confident and zero doubt in my mind that Disney will come back better than ever before. They will make a full recovery from this loss, no doubt about it, from the global situation we're all in right now. No matter how long it lasts, I personally am 100% confident they will come back better than ever before. I think it's super important to remember the positive. Don't let this information bring you down. It's just information I wanted to pass on with you, which I thought was fascinating, and it will show the resiliency of the Disney company because they're gonna bounce back and be even better after all this is said and done. Let's jump in today's video. A couple of friends have brought the question to me, Michael, how much money is Disney actually going to be losing and are they losing day by day as this global situation continues to evolve? It's a very interesting question that required quite a bit of research, but I think I've got some interesting answers for you. Now to say that the financials of the Disney company are complicated is a complete understatement. They are so convoluted that it gets super confusing super fast. So in today's video, I'm gonna really focus in on Walt Disney World. I realize that the entire company throughout the entire world, movie side, other parks around the world, they are all affected, but right now my focus is Walt Disney World. So let's think about that. Now to consider Disney's financials is mind boggling to say the least, and I took a look at some of the Walt Disney World financials and Disney makes their money with park admittance. That's a big one for them. Going into the park, those tickets to the parks, parking at the resorts, different food, merchandise, other things that you can purchase while you're there. And throughout the course of any given day, they make anywhere between, and these are rough estimates, 13 and $25 million a day. Now, when I was first thinking about this video, I was thinking about some of the big expenses that Disney has. And like any company, one of the big, biggest expenses is payment of of your workers or the salaries of all the cast members. Disney did pay cast members up to about a little over a month after Disney World had officially closed, but they have furloughed cast members since that point, so the finances kind of tipped the other direction. So I'm actually gonna take salaries kind of out of the equation here. Now let's focus on some of the big numbers first, then we're gonna break it down. A firm known as Moffitt Nathanson released detailed reports with figures going over what Disney may be actually losing financially over the course of this extended global issue and they estimated that from when it first closed all the way to the end of April they'd be losing 3.4 billion with a B dollars total now that figure applies to the entire company not just Walt Disney World so let's break it down a little bit further Let's consider a past closure at Walt Disney World. And believe it or not, this is only the seventh time Disney World has ever closed. Of course, this is the longest time they've ever closed. But back in 2016, Disney closed for two days because of Hurricane Matthew. It was later revealed in a shareholder meeting that this two-day closure cost Disney $40 million for two days. Now we don't know if the 40 million encompasses all the salaries and encompasses the cleanup that goes with the hurricanes that come through, but that's a good number that we can kind of work with. Cutting it in half, obviously, $20 million per day for a two-day closure. I was thinking about that $20 million per day in losses because of Hurricane Matthew. Of course, we can't know for sure how it was used, but when I look at other articles and I start to consider other estimates from other experts and those in different research firms who have considered what Disney makes every single day, giving you a rough estimate of about $15 million a day is a safe bet. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, it's $15 million a day that Disney is losing every single day. Let's just not consider the maintenance that's going on right now. There are so many other factors, so many, but we're just gonna make it as simple as possible. $15 million a day. And let's pretend for a moment that Disney World's only closed for 50 days, which at the time of filming, it's already been closed for that many days. So, you know, it's kind of close to it, but let's say that is the number. That would make their total losses $750 million for Disney World alone. Now, when Disney originally closed, they canceled all reservations up until June 1st. And I know we're getting closer to that date by the day, but let's pretend for a moment they do open back up on June 1st. And I understand that it probably won't be at full capacity making $15 million a day, but for the sake of argument, let's say, let's pretend it is. $15 million a day times 
80 days, we're talking about 1.2 billion, with a B, dollars by the 2nd of June. If we push it to 100 days, we're talking about 1.5 billion dollars, and it just continues to add up from there. And we're talking about billions, with a B. You're thinking to yourself, Michael, how much can Disney really withstand when it comes to these kind of financial losses? 1.5 billion is just an astronomical number for all of us, but when you consider the total value of the Walt Disney Company, they're valued well above 32 billion dollars with a B, which is great news. It means that, you know, they can withstand this totally fine. But the evaluation of a company is not just liquid assets. This is the entire value of the company. So even one, one billion of 30 billion is a lot. It's a lot of money, I know. It really, really is. And keep in mind, once Disney does open back up, it is no doubt going to be much slower for a significant amount of time as guests get more acclimated to being back in the parks, things get safer all around the world, and guests can return. It's going to be slower for a considerable amount of time. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have no doubt that Disney will recover from all of this, but it's going to take a significant amount of time. So what does that mean for projects in the future? I made a video not too long ago kind of thinking about some of my theories about this, and in the video I mentioned that any projects that haven't broken ground as of this point probably won't for a little while. And every single day that this continues, I believe that becomes even more true. Disney is an extremely resilient company. Again, they're going to bounce back from this, no doubt about it, but 1.5 billion or even more for just Walt Disney World, just Florida. That's a lot, and that's going to take some time to bounce back from. So a big conclusion that we can draw from this video, every single day that Disney is closed means weeks or months of these projects that have been planned being pushed into the future simply because of financial reasons. Now there is a silver lining to all of this, I'm very happy to tell you. There are so many articles and analysts who have mentioned that they believe the travel industry will come back even better in the future. No doubt there is some recovery that we have to do. There are jobs that have to come back, people have to get jobs, but after all of this happens, we get things to a relative state of normal again, a lot of families are going to want to go on vacation. And that means a lot of people are going to be coming to Walt Disney World, going on Disney cruises, Disney destinations all around the world. It's going to come back but it's gonna take time. I gotta tell you, looking at the finances for Disney has given me a tremendous amount of perspective. We all think of Disney as a very wealthy company. It's valued over $30 billion, but that comes down to customers going to the business, com customers experiencing the magic. And without us going, you can see it has a really big toll extremely quickly. In a few months, extremely fast, this has had a toll. One more positive to end this video, Walt Disney went bankrupt several times. He did, but he never gave up on his dream, and I have no doubt the Disney company's resolve is not going anywhere. It will come back better than ever before. That's a quick look into some of the finances at Disney and what some of those losses will look like. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the timelines that you think Disney will recover from. Do you think it's going to take six months, a year for Disney to make a recovery? Two years, a couple years? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.